Stuttgart. Hi, for Tuesday, and welcome to Now, the fun show hosted by me, Curtis P. Today, we're kicking the show off talking about a video game that I've kind of got interested in again recently. That being SimCity. Well, today, a new expansion pack for SimCity has launched. That being Cities of Tomorrow. The brand new expansion pack brings your cities into the future with really cool things like the brand new Sky Towers. Also, new transportation like the Maglev trains. And, of course, the future would not be complete without that evil corporation that kind of owns everything. That being the company named Omega Corp because if that's not an ominous name, I don't know what is. Included in this expansion pack is a brand new disaster, that being the giant robot, which is kind of cool, a brand new way to destroy your city of the future. Because an out of control robot just seems like the plausible way to destroy your city of the future. You can purchase and download Cities of Tomorrow on Origin right now if you're interested. I actually have already pre-ordered it and it's available for download for myself, which is really cool. So I plan on checking that out after I'm done recording and editing all of this. From virtual cities filled with virtual sky skyscrapers to a real-life skyscraper. The brand new World Trade Center building has been dubbed the tallest building in the USA. That happening today after they placed the needle on top of the skyscraper. World Trade Center 1, located in New York City, will take the honor from the Willis Tower, located in Chicago, that of course used to be called the Sears Tower. World Trade Center 1 also has a symbolic height to it, that being 1,776 meters, which just happens to symbolize the year that the United States was founded as a country. That's a fun little design perk to the brand new building, of course, World Trade Center 1 will open to the public next year. Jumping into the world of console gaming, because there's lots of news about this right now. Launching this Friday, that being of course the 15th, is the PlayStation 4. That being the brand new console from Sony, of course, and with the launch of that console just around the corner, new information has been posted online all about it. Starting off with voice commands, there's a few voice commands that come with the PS4, though if you compare that to the Xbox One, not even close. A brand new video hub is included with the PlayStation 4 and and all videos on the device are actually stored in the cloud. The cool thing though, Video Unlimited, the whole thing that powers this is available on all Sony devices. So if you have a Sony TV, it'll work there. If you have a Sony handset, also will work there. One of the many titles coming to the PlayStation 4 at launch, that being Killzone Shadow Fall, released a cool little bit of information here. The fact that they hope that you put the disc in the console and within three minutes you will be playing the game. One thing that I think is pretty freaking cool, having recently installed Grand Theft Auto onto my Xbox and having it take like half an hour to install, three minutes from disc to game is awesome. Of course, more information about the PlayStation 4 will be coming out throughout the week and I will uh, try to keep you posted. And last in the news today, let's talk about YouTube news. Looks like YouTube has just launched a brand new tool for creators. That being the Fan Finder, a brand new tool that allows you to turn a YouTube video into an ad that YouTube will then play. So next time you see a pre-roll, it could be me promoting this show. The brand new YouTube Fan Finder allows you to upload a video, YouTube will convert it, and then advertise it for free. This is the cool part because you don't actually have to pay to promote your own channel. YouTube is hoping that with this brand new tool, they can get people to subscribe to more channels. And hopefully more subscriptions mean more views, which the end means YouTube can push more advertising and make more money. A pretty cool new tool and hey I'm gonna probably take advantage of it because it's free and why not? Having touched on the launch of the PlayStation 4 I was kind of wondering what one game console you would have out of them all like if you could only have one. Would you get a PlayStation, an Xbox, maybe just go all PC or something else? You can let me know in the comments section down below. You can also let me know on my Facebook page, Twitter account, or through Google+. Links to all that and the other articles I talked about on today's episode in the description down below. Check out all the links down there, tons of cool things. Of course, if you enjoyed today's show, why not hit that like button, subscribe, and maybe even share the show with your friends. Until tomorrow, I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.